Hello everyone, I want to talk a little bit about the research paper. I recently put the writing prompt out there. And so the research paper can be found here. And this is the writing prompt and instructions. And of course, this is a little difficult to read, but here they are. I'm going to go ahead and backtrack one. And here's where you turn it in. So you turn it in here, view and complete. This is the turn it in uh, site where you turn in your document to see, you know, check grammar, also check uh, for plagiarism to be uh, more concise. Um, what I want to also bring your attention to with regard to the paper, it's really a series of questions. And I've given you some sample APA papers that I've written and so you have sample one which will show you one that's actually probably most useful to you in the sense that you have questions so you know here uh, this was a final exam however I needed to you know supply references and cite them so these are this is the APA uh, method of citing so this is the bibliography for that given question here, I've taken, you know, from my bibliography, cited where I used information that I read from various articles and uh, put that into uh, my, you know, into my answer and embedded it. You'll note that if you go actually to these articles in the bibliography, I did not use very much of any of the language that was used in there. Therefore, I wrote my own opinion on the basis of what I read, which makes it different than plagiarism or just pure copying. Whereas if I just simply cut and paste and threw it there, that would be considered plagiarism and not, and not giving credit to the person. So I'm not looking for quotes. Uh, so let's stay away from quotes. Let's paraphrase uh, the ideas of the articles or the or the journals that you've read crystallize it into your own thoughts and then give do you know do credit to where you got the idea from by citing using the APA format and so this is probably closest to what you will actually do and you'll see it throughout the paper this is probably the best example uh, going back again I'll go ahead and take a look at sample paper two in this particular case, it's an actual paper, and it's one I wrote on the Democratic Republic of Congo. And so we talk about various things, you know, why is a country so rich in resources, uh, have so many problems, why can't they seem to govern themselves? Yeah, it, it is kind of a, a paradoxical type of relationship, but very well explained. So. This is an actual paper. The other ones are answering questions, both APA. All right, so where to find APA, you know, and be able to use that to your best advantage. Uh, Purdue All Writing Resources is where I go, and, uh, and I give you a link directly to the Purdue All uh, Writing Resources. This is used, it also does things for MLA and all that stuff, but here it shows you the general formats. Um, sometimes you, you can find a little website that will actually uh, do all the work for you. You just simply, you know, supply the information and it gives you exactly the format you need to put that in your bibliography. And these are some of the rules and whatnot that you would, you know, apply and using the APA format. This is a standard uh, title page, for instance. A professional paper, you know, might look that way. And then um, there's an abstract, you know, how to cite, you know, the Purdue Island and APA. So it's just basically a lot of examples, also explanation of rules and formatting. And uh, so there's a whole wealth of information here. They have other styles here too. The APA style is the style that's most used by business and science. So I want you to be aware of that. And so please look through the resources. Uh, I'll answer questions. Good luck with your paper. Thank you very much.